Yuck. Well, oh, aren't you pretty? It's cute. Can we <laughs> keep it? No, it wants to kill you. <laughs> well, cute. Cute. The lizard grandma was scarier. And I yeah. still moving on. <laughs> A ghastly noise echoes from deep within its open mouth as it rears up to attack you with a razor-sharp tongue. Due to the surprise of its attack, you cannot make use of a bow. Oh. I do not think we need a bow to deal with this one. Alright. So, uh, the Sacrothal attacks you. That's what it's called, apparently. Sacrothal. Yep. Odd. So, yeah, and you don't have invisibility, right? No. Okay, good. Nope. Well, in that case, initiate combat. And you have a combat skill of uh, 29, right? Let me see. 20, 27 plus 2. Yeah, that would be 29, then I remembered correctly. Well, yeah. if it's um, not in. If it's vulnerable to a psychic attack, then yes. It doesn't say it isn't, so yeah. I mean, uh, she is right in what she says. So, yeah. Alright. Well, give me a roll with eye. Six. Alright, six. Right, you charge the ginormous beast and manage to cut a deep gash in its side, which causes it to howl in a very croakish way. Then it lashes out with its sharp tongue, but you almost completely manage to await the blow of its sword sharp tongue. You lose. Two points of endurance. Mm. Right, roll the die again. Two. Two. All right. Well, in that case, you stab at the beast as it swings back and manage to give it a minor wound, but then it charges forward with the uh, speed of a striking snake and hits you square in the chest, sending you a bit flying backwards. You lose four endurance points. Well, at least we didn't land in the rats. Yep. If that was the case, this would have been the shortest adventure yet. <laughs> right. Don't underestimate unnatural rats. Robert, I again give an ear. Three. Hmm. Well, you decide not to give up and charge the beast again. Manage to cut out a deep uh, gash in its side that sends its blood flowing on the dark sand of the beach, glistening in the greenish light. It, however, sends its sharp tongue straight through your arm. You lose four endurance points. Ow! Damn it! Oh, by I the way, if you wish, you may flee now. I say we try and cut it down. If the rest of you want to flee at any point, you just say so. Yeah. And if not, roll the die. Ten. Ooh, ooh. The beast lunges forward again, but this time you step to the side. As it lunges past, you cut down and manage to chop it in. Well, maybe not half. You would probably have to walk a bit farther down to do that. But certainly you chop it in two. The beast writhes on the ground. You have defeated it. The hideous wow. creature lets out a deafening cry as you strike your final blow. It crashes to the ground, displacing a ton of sand as its massive bulk settles on the beach. Attached to a heavy black chain around its loathsome midriff is a gold key. It's a special item. Take it. Um, Take it. Just let me add it to the inventory. Special inventory, that is. All right. Your victory raises your spirits, but they soon sink again when you hear the unmistakable sound of rats. The chase has resumed. Ron, maybe they'll eat the that thing instead. The frenzied squeal of rats fill your ears as you force your aching legs to propel you across the beach. Beyond an outcrop of pitted stone, a stream cascades down the sheer rock wall, cutting a deep gully across the beach as it flows into the lake. Spanning this gully is a natural bridge of stone. Its center is very thin and narrow, as, and as you near the bridge, you fear it is too thin to support your weight. Do you wish to use divination now? Yeah. Yes. 
Yes. You sense that the bridge is strong enough to support your weight, so long as it's not subjected to any sudden or violent shock. Such a shock could easily open up one of the many cracks to Riddle's core. Forewarned by your kind mastery, you step onto the bridge and advance carefully. As you reach the center of the bridge, the leading rats are flowing up the slope of the arc. You turn and confront them, drawing your weapon in preparation for a fight to the death, if necessary. As they swarm nearer, you lash out, cleaving them from the narrow apex to fall, splashing into the torrent of water below. With your third blow, a shudder runs through the stone, causing you to stagger and fall. The land on the opposite bank, winded but otherwise unharmed. You land on the opposite bank, winded but otherwise unharmed. A loud crack fills the night, and the whole center section of the bridge collapses into the gully with a tremendous splash. Safe now from the ravenous rats, you can afford to continue along the beach at a less punishing pace. Yeah, I cannot help but think the whole thing about being flooded with unnatural rats. I just think we made the mistake of not really using our fire sphere because I get the feeling it can wreak havoc on groups, especially furry groups. Um, Rana, rem remember, um, we uh, took the choice to use divination there, so that's uh, one health point. Ah, yeah, but it was just from a standpoint of, you know, uh, what weapon to use against a rat. Well, but maybe if you're chosen. Yes, yes, well, I'm just reminding you to, you know, uh, ah. uh, regenerate our lost health points. Ah. Yeah, one health point per choice. Well, maybe if you're chosen to engage with rats, you would have the option of using the fire sphere, but hey, now you have more fire spheres for the future. Who knows? The stone blocks of a fallen tower lie scattered in an uneven line across the beach, like the vertebrae of a long dead giant. Lightning flashes and you see in the battlement or casting out a wide breach in the wall where the tower once stood. A stone staircase rises from the beach to the top of the ruined wall, but sections of it are missing, presumably torn away when the tower collapsed. Do you wish to climb the stairs to the fortress or to continue along the beach? Yeah, I just think I need to come with this. I know I said before this reminds me of all things, but this is the lone wolf equivalent of Minas Morgul. I have no idea what that is. It's a city of the dead from Lord of the Rings. Oh. Very creepy. Actually, something that even makes my neck hair stand on end. I'm horrible at names if people couldn't tell. <laughs> uh. But yeah, the choice stands. Um. Ah, thinky, thinky, thingy. No, I leave the thingy to you two for this one. That makes no difference to me. Let's just go up the stairs. Alright. Yeah, we're, we're supposed to enter the town anyway, so up the stairs we go. Up we That's go. The daisy. To begin with, the shattered steps and hollow posts, hollows pose no problem that your agility and skill cannot overcome. However, as you're nearing the top of the stairs, you suddenly find yourself staring into a yawning void. The steps have been sheared away, leaving a gap over 20 feet wide. And you don't have nexus, right? Alright, we don't. Oh, good. But you have a rope. You may use it now if you decide to. Mm, a rope. Let me just see if I'm completely up to date on the item list. We well, you, you should have a rope because otherwise I don't know. Yes, we do. Yeah. Alright. But yeah, I say we use that rope. You tie a loop in one end of the rope and scan the opposite side for a secure target. A spur of stone near the center of the shadow staircase looks promising, and you aim for that. On your second attempt, the rope finds its mark and tightens across the stone. You waste no time crossing the gap, and within minutes you are safely across and climbing the few remaining stairs to the breach fortress wall. See, that's why it is good to have a rope, it's despite being able to climb surfaces without one, given here. Huh. Well, Unless it's always course. nice to get an answer to one's questions. Yep. Unless, of course, we could just, you know jump across, but then again, we are not super. You might have tried, but the consequences of failing that could have been severe. Stepping carefully through the slime-smeared rubble, you stop for a moment to catch your breath and survey the shattered keep of Kassan out. It is a desolate site. Only stone buildings remain intact, and everything is covered with creepers and mildew. A great fire must have ravaged the inner fortress to have resulted in such devastation. In the center of the keep stands the Great Hall, still an imposing stronghold, and made all the more frightening by the constant flash of green lightning. Beyond its burnt and fungus-covered wooden door, twisted trees form 
with sharp barbed thorns sprawling across the cracked flagstone like coils of steel wire. You are about to enter when a movement in the air around your head arrests you. A shape is taken from the doorway, a shadowy figure with flaming red eyes. An icy chill grips your heart as it sweeps past you with a swirling rush of wind. You spin around to see it hovering in the sky, its shadowy hand now gripping a great spiked ball and chain. It shrieks an unearthly cry and the ball whistles down towards your unprotected face. Huh. And we have a picture of the thing that had just appeared. Here. Okay. Looks like... Uh, that thing reminds me of the idiot from the last book. What was his name? Rock? Rock. Rock, yeah. A little. Only thing this... Yeah, you know, plate my armor sort of Romanish and also that... Uh, Really, that war mask looks like something a samurai would wear, so yeah. What is it with people in this world and wearing diapers as adults? I have I no know. idea. <laughs> I think, yeah. But and, yeah, and you don't have side screen, so you can't use that now. So, you have no time to await the sudden attack. However, your hunt master remains that it doesn't get a bonus from attacking you suddenly. Good. So, you're finding the outer con. Okay. Couldn't we uh, fight the inner con instead? Nope, it's the outer con that's attacking you. Oh. Okay, so, um, yeah. Give me a roll a die. Six. Hmm, six. Alright, the ghastly form charges forward and smashes out against you, but you manage to uh, touch to the side, earning only a little bit of a scrape to your chin as the spike chain whistles past your head. You lose one endurance point. Then you surge forward and impale the beast with your golden sword in a display of outrageous power. This is righteousness. You have been drawn from the mortal plane. It's not dead yet. The thing's not quite natural. But hey, you managed to vote it a great deal. Give me a robot eye again. <sighs> Seven? Right. The ghastly aberration screams and tries to smash your head in, but you withdraw your sword from its stomach and make a twirl that removes an arm and a head from the beast. Which seems to do the trick. You have won! Good. The, the shadow flares red before dissolving into a dense grey mist that is carried away swiftly in the stormy air. A sudden chill makes you shiver. You pull your cloak around you, taking comfort from its warmth, but it is as if the cold comes not from a damp wind, but from somewhere deep inside you. Okay. Okay, I get the feeling I know what is going on here. You feel hungry and you must now eat a meal. I don't okay. know if you can use Hunt Mastery here. I guess you can. No, I do not think you can. I mean, what? Catch a rat? It doesn't say we can't. No, it doesn't. So okay, I but... assume we can. We catch one of those puppy sized rats and like, eat that. I'll assume it doesn't say anything, so yeah. Okay, I have to say, the moment you mentioned something about a cold feeling all over the body, I was afraid that this thing we had just killed were trying to possess us. I will not put anything past this place. This gives me the creeps. Understandably. When you have finished, you make a quick check of your equipment before taking your first cautious steps inside the Great Hall. Stealthily, you cross the cracked flagstone floor of the Great Hall, your muscles and nerves tensed for the sound of danger. The constant sound of dripping water and the howl of the storm add to the utter desolation of the chamber. A thorny jungle of briars climbs up the walls with greedy claws, coiling around the rotten frames of paintings and weaving through damp and mouldering tapestries. In other words, this place is fucking outnerving. Suspended, yeah, suspended above the fireplace is a great Anarian broadsword, its pitted steel blade pointing to one side. Your eyes travel along the blade to the shadows of the fireplace, and you notice something lying in the grates. Moving nearer, you see that it is of the body of a dead man. 
Behind it is a panel, which opened by the corpse. And peering into the gloomy opening, you can just make out some stairs disappearing into the darkness. Oh, and picture. 